What's up, everybody? Uh, Six Scale Mafia here with El Professoro, episode up, three up? review. Director Krennic, what's going on yes, sir. today? Yes, sir, Anthony, we are back at it again, man. Episode three with Director Krennic, man. Episode Still going through three. this Rogue One line, dude. I mean, I know this is exciting, man. I mean, this is this li- actual line. I mean, a lot of people's grails are in here. This is uh, my favorite uh, Disney Star Wars movie, you know, by far. Definitely. You know, the the timeline is perfect, just right. Just it picks up right before um, A New Hope, and these figures are absolute bangers, man. So I'm excited for Krennic, man. This is gonna be a good one. Dude, me too, man. Me too. I mean, I loved, you know, like if you guys haven't already checked before, we did Imperial Disguise Gin, and last week we did K2SO. They're great, but man, I'm, I'm, yeah, dude, I'm a little excited about Krennic. I know he was the most rated, I think, last week, right? Between the community of yeah. what you guys wanted to see. It was a fan favorite. Yeah. So, hell yeah, guys. I'm glad you guys are all here. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to address everybody to say what's up. We got primetime reviews. Toy Mafia is up in here. Lane Kramer. Yeah, we may try to do something like that, Lane. We'll see. Uh, Carlos is here. Collector <laughs> number one. What's up, bud? Uh, who else we got in here? Andy H. Hello, gents. Hope you are well. Thank you. Hope you are well as well. We're doing pretty good, right? We're doing pretty good today. Doing fantastic. Yeah. Running a little behind, but, you know, as they yeah. say, the show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> a little Pause story behind there. Yeah. Uh, Gilbert's also in here. Dude, What's shout out to Maz, on? man, for the uh, for the thousand subs, dude. Yes, Congrats, bro. Maz got his thousand, so congratulations on that, buddy. Single songwriter as well. Hello, collectors. Episode Hello, dude. three. Mafia grinding out the content. CT six hundred three. Yes, sir. This is actually something that we uh, we've been wanting to do for a while. We started. And it was great because we started right on New Year's Day. So it's going co- coinciding perfectly. With the new year uncommon flex up everyone what's up bud uh beskar kid also what's up beskar morning anthony good, and bro. mario what is happening nice so hell yeah well yeah so i mean let's i guess let's just start out with this guy man i mean well he was let's get some, uh let's get go some ahead, stats, bro go well let's get some stats he was mms 519 i yes, believe sir and that was uh, a later release. I, you know, and it's been a while because I had forgotten. But yeah, he is. You brought that to my attention. He was. He came out in December of 2020. I forgot. He, he's kind of newish, kind of. Yeah, this was a figure that when the Rogue One line ended, a lot there was a lot of, um, you know, a lot of unrest from the Star Wars collectors, practically begging for this figure to come out, bro. And um, it was pretty much damn near a miracle that we received Krennic. It was so, because we thought the Rogue One line was completely finished. They were dead. They weren't going to release anything. Then out of the blue, you know, Howard Chan and the team over there, they answered the collector's prayers and lo and behold, we get Krennic along with a couple other figures that showed up later on actually for pre-order um, that with the short troopers that showed up, we just got the tank commander that was just released. So I'm still happy that we're getting troopers from the Rogue One line, man. And, Dude, I hope one day that they can complete it in which we can get um, base Malbus along mm. with. Um, I'm sure we'll get some form of Cassian Andor, you know, pre- preferably Rogue One. However, he does have a show coming up, so we'll see. I- I'm sure they'll do something based off of that. And I want to see Bodhi Rook also, man. Yeah, I, I complete the whole line, guys. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I think How number one, though, we be? need a base. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, one hundred percent, man. Just because we saw it, right? You know what I mean. They showed the prototype. Mm. He's now taken down from sideshow, by the way. From the coming soon section, really? He's gone. Yeah, I checked. Yo. He's not there anymore. Wow. So, so that could be that could be good or all, bad. Is, is all hope lost? Then I mean, if he's like completely gone, or, or they uh, took him down not. because they're going to be working on him and bringing him out for the Andor or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I don't, I don't know. know. You know, if they bring we'll Cassian see, Andor out, it's he's not gonna have a he's not gonna have a Rogue One <clears throat> title though. So I don't Yeah. I mean it would be nice to see them actually complete this line. Granted, the only line that I can think that they've completed off the top of my head, just basically from the um the hero side is just the the Justice League, right? So we right. are basically getting all those everybody 
that was on the team. Well, well I think that was just a um, uh, a victim of of, of circumstance in in a sense, right? Because by all intents, like Justice League was done. You know, yeah. had it not been for mm-hmm. the fans to pull through to get a Snyder cut, exactly. I don't think we would have seen that cyborg announcement no. at all. One hundred percent, dude. Yeah, totally agree with you. So we're not really having that situation with Rogue One, but yeah, you never know. Like you said, I mean, we just got the the short trooper squad leader, and then just the other day, the the tank the tank trooper ta- as a tank commander. I forgot I forgot the title, but the tank he's commander, out. Yeah. Tank commander is yep. out. So, like you said, it's, it's it's interesting that we're still getting, uh, we're still getting Rogue One, still. So I don't want to give up hope, right? Yeah, there's still some little shed of hope, so we'll see. Hey, rebellions we'll, are built on hope, right? Yeah, supposedly. <laughs> supposedly, <laughs> I know. Supposedly, I don't. I don't. <laughs> anyway, rebellions. So, I know that's such a good movie, though. I was thinking about watching it again because we keep doing this and we're revisiting yeah, all these rogue ones, and I'm like, we totally man, should. I, what do you What do you think about the the idea of possibly when we end the Rogue One line, just Review the movie. Let's like let's give it a watch, and you know, yeah. Uh, maybe maybe we could, maybe we could do a live watch party. You know, we can. Like, we can do a we can do a watch party. See if people yeah. want to just tune in. We got to do it like my Mando or my exactly, Boba Fett right. one because because right, we just sync up the time. Yeah, and yeah. I pl- I played the audio on on my episode three of Boba Fett, and so far no problems. Okay, it was pretty low on that episode, man. I could hardly, hardly hear anything. I didn't even know you were actually playing it until you said it. Yeah, so. I, I kept it kind of low. It's mm-hmm. there, but yeah, yeah you and, know, and these, I, these I saw a little bit. I saw a little bit of the of the, uh, of the episode playing on the background of your TV. Yeah, I'll play it on the TV you so you can kind of, you know what I'm saying, yeah. kind of see it. So yeah, right. I mean, if you guys are into that, uh, we'll do it. We'll do a Rogue One watch party at the end i mean we still have quite a few figures to go through it might not be till like march <laughs> maybe april it but might be a while man for sure so yeah yeah, yeah. it, it may be, be guys so if you're yeah, thinking about helpful. it that would be that would that's yeah, something we can do man that would be really fun so uh but moving on from from krennic yeah he was uh i think it was three was a 325 i think he retailed that or 335 uh, oh, or, oh, I'm sorry. Subtract, two, subtract two. $100. Yeah, 100 <laughs> you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in 2022 right now, that that yeah. mindset. No, you're in 2024 uh, with those prices, bro. We I, haven't even hit shit, well, 325 as a standard yet, man. Well, Come back. Maybe, maybe Come back not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two, two, uh, 235 235 Uh he retailed yeah, well, that. So. Well worth it, man. I mean, the, the, the portrait is amazing. They really, really did a great job capturing the likeness of Ben Mendelsohn. Um, the uniform is fairly fairly generic, but I mean, it's it's a uh, it's an imperial officer. You know, I mean, what what more can you expect? Um, came with a decent amount of accessories um, that are attached to his person. The the pistol was fantastic, um, phenomenal. The tailoring the tailoring is great. Again, with these extended um, attachments to the base, with basically the entire Rogue One line. You know, it's unique to that, so that's you know that's nice. The extra cards. This, however, we we mentioned about the uh, the picture cards that are that are usually not permanently fixed to the base. However, this one seems to be. Yeah, yeah. Krennic's so that's, picture yeah, card that's, is like affixed to the actual stand. I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not but, either. Only <clears throat> only only because of consistency. Right. Exactly. You know, because the other ones you can just you can choose you can opt to put those on there. Otherwise, it's just a black well, base. It's pretty simple. If you want, if you want to be consistent, man, and then this is the only one with a card on the base, then you're going to feel obligated to go ahead and add all the cards to the rest of the bases as well. Yes. If you're if you're like OCD regarding consistency, I know it's a little unfortunate. Uh, but you know, Carlos yeah. just brought up plays. He asked, "Is Rogue One your favorite Star Wars movie?" I would say for me, it's my favorite Disney Star Wars. Uh, production since what's your favorite star wars movie bro oh well that's a see well everybody everybody wants me to say empire uh but my favorite star wars movie is star wars i can respect later that. later dubbed a new hope right you know episode i can, I can respect four. that um <laughs> that's what got me into all, the game it's where it's all started it's a classic hero's journey story man it's it's an amazing film dude i mean 
there's there's so much that you go through and the emotional payoff at the end, man. The excitement and the Death Star Trench battle, dude. And then we see the celebration on Yavin. Um, well, and we've never ceremony. seen any of that. It's awesome. Yeah. You know, it's it's <clears> hard coming in. Uh, I think I think from just an age perspective, because mm-hmm. prior prior to Star Wars, there wasn't anything really like it. So no, I think people <clears> take that for granted nowadays, right? Because nowadays we have all these fantastical sure. fantasy, you know, movies and these big epics, these you big know, spectacles. And yeah, yeah, these huge sagas and whatnot, especially with the MCU coming through. But then. Right. I mean, granted, you know, I was, you know, I wasn't born yet for, you know, theater release, but shortly thereafter, I mean, growing up as a kid, I, I had Star Wars on, on VHS and that was like, yeah, I mean, dude, it, it, it just, it tell it transported me to a whole freaking dimension, bro. You know, prior to, like I said, we didn't have much like that. We didn't have much like that. So yeah, absolutely. it's gotta be the OG bro for me. Mm-hmm. I love empire. Look, Don't get me wrong, but it started for sure with Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can totally respect that, man. And that's, like you said, that's where it all started. And a lot of directors took inspiration with that film to incorporate into their movies as well. I mean, we saw, um, I think Ridley Scott mentioned it regarding the Alien films. You know, Mm -hmm. that he, uh, that Star Wars changed everything for basically a lot of directors and producers that were out there. Well, yeah, the game changed. They were like, oh, shit. Yeah, and and you hear a lot of stories about the, uh, the Star Destroyer just coming in you know, that shot that you see from the bottom up, you know, you, you see the Tanev, uh running away from the Star Destroyer. And then that Star Destroyer just has so much present. It just felt like he keeps going on and on and on and on. And that was game changing, man, back then. And well, every fun, scene, you know, I mean, literally every directors. scene you watched was something you've never seen before. Yeah. That's kind of my point, right? From start to finish, <clears throat> you're like, well, what is this? This is some kind of robot or what's this or. What are these troopers or who is this Vader? Like every, every scene, Oh, look at these vehicles, these spaceships. Like it, it didn't matter. The set, the set, you know, the set pieces, the interiors, you're like, no, you never saw yeah. this. So yeah, you're not wrong. On, guys. So I'm going to be the simpleton and say empire is my favorite <laughs> Star Wars movie. That's, okay. fact, that's my, actually my favorite movie of all time is the empire strikes back of all time, all, all time, bro. Damn. You even know. it even beats original alien. Oh, bro. Come on. Come on, look! Don't get me wrong. Original Alien, Original Alien is fantastic, but I am just so attached to this movie. I mean, I I remember watching Empire for as long as I remember, man. I mean, just one of those films that you don't really have to watch it, but it's on in the background. And even if it's on on. the background, or it's just on, you're doing whatever you got to do around the house or whatever. And at the same time, if you're like you know flipping through the TV or, or something, and then it just happens to come on, you're like, oh shit, I'm gonna sit here and watch Empire. And then when the first commercial start, you're like, fuck this. I'm going to go back on, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust out the Blu-ray or whatever digital format that I've got and, you know, watch it on here commercial free, completely unedited. So, Well, I'll tell you a little fun fact. Um, mm-hmm. So I used to work at local comic book store here for about 10 years, a little unrelated, but still, still reference, not this, not the comic book store that I worked at, but my friend runs a comic book store too. It's, a, it's part of the community, right? You get to know everybody. And he has been running his shop now for, I want to say, almost 15 years. Pretty mm. pretty long time, oh, right? Long time. Pretty successful yeah. comic book store. When he started, when he first opened, he has an old tube, old school television. Yeah. It's not very big, maybe like 18 inches. He has it sitting there on the counter um, where everybody can kind of see it. And he's got a VCR. And he puts mm-hmm. in... His original <laughs> New Hope, like Star Wars, yeah, VHS. Dude, hell yeah. And he has played this every day without missing a beat for the, the past 15 years. No and, and then he writes he writes the number on a card every day, and he has the, the, little, the little Post-it card or whatever right on top of the VCR. I'll send you a picture sometime. It's, it's freaking hilarious. And it, 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 like the number's up to like, I don't know. It's in the thousands. Like how the how many you know, times has been played? Six thousand seven hundred and sixty second wow. replay, and he changes it every day, and he just and it's on. How is that tape still freaking functional, man? Hey, man, they don't you make figure, stuff like you figure that thing would have rotted. That's it's crazy. working. It's working. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty. But that's what I'm saying. What that's the testament of Star Wars. Sure. You can just have it on. Yeah, and, and everybody's yeah, just man. like, oh, Star Wars. Maybe tune in for a minute. You know, it's just yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love it, man. I absolutely love it. So, 
Right anyway, with that said, what you think? We got a lot of good stuff here um, with Krennic. He, like you yeah. said, I mean, for the for the price point, <clears throat> it comes with a decent well, amount of stuff. Yeah, it was a great value, man. It was, it was. Um, I thought it was a great deal. So it also comes with an extra look, in which I'm one of those collectors that hey, if there's an extra look to the figure, I would most likely pick up two. I didn't with this guy, however, but you know, it is what it is. A little late for that now. A little bit. Hey, Fobs Figs up in here. What's uh, what did you bro? say? Slick, slick name tags. Sick, I'm a little far sick away. Is name it tags. Sick, sick name, name tags. tags. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, quick, Maz quick, says, I still have my OG VHS box set for the original trilogy. Same here, I don't bro. watch them that way. <laughs> Yo, pre-special edition on top of that. Original, original, man. Yeah, like the, the Fox broadcast ones, right? Mm-hmm. The Fox distributions. Yeah, the, the Fox label one. Yo, I, think, I really think that was one of the major deciding factors in Disney picking up Fox. They wanted their original Star Wars back. Um, among other things like X-Men fantastic four but that fox deal they had distribution rights for the originals they did i don't think it's as simple as that if i'm honest if i'm completely honest i think it was a little bit more of they were actually starting disney plus at the time and they needed content well that you know, as so. well but i i but knowing that they owned star wars but they didn't have distribution rights for the originals yeah i mean that's that's just the icing certainly the cake, a factor though. there yeah no no yeah i hear you there but yeah, I know what you mean. They're start. They were starting Disney Plus. They needed all their stuff, and yeah, yeah exactly. So. so, but yeah, you're right. It's 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 interesting because he does come with the cape, and the poncho, mm-hmm. right? And the poncho is a nice touch for when he's, you know, at the beginning, um, trying to get um. I forgot his name. Jen's father, Galen Urso. There you go, Galen Urso. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm loving that they brought <clears throat> that in. Now the cape, for those that don't know. Uh, we I guess we can discuss it a, a little bit. Sorry, my mic's maybe out of position. The cape has that magnetic kind of hook, uh, you know, for the shoulders. Um, but it's oh, very, look yeah, at it's very, very open though. It's very airy, right? So one of the things I like to do is I try to make like folds in the rear, some tight folds, and tuck as much as I can. You can use like a clip sure. too. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I don't have one on me right now, but you know those like binder clips. Uh, I would use yeah. that sometimes to just kind of bunch that back up and keep it. Because otherwise it is. It's like really flared out. But it's a really nice cape. And it sits. Like, I would say. It sits, it sits well. I would, en- I would encourage everyone that actually that owns this figure to take the time and create the pleats and the folds in the cape. You know, without, with, without the use of uh, pins or what have you. It can be done. But it I can. think it's one of those things that it's more of like, hey. You know, I did something and it looks fantastic, you know, without, you know, without the aid of, you know, something like. A yeah, I mean, if you can like get that, through it, so. uh, I would I would recommend it, too. It's just it, it, yeah. it is a lot. It's it, it, and it's slightly wired. I mean, it is wired. It's just not like for sure. crazy wire. Right. You you know, like, for example, we can bend this kind of give it a little a little flow in the back. And then if you let go, it's, you know, so it, it's kind of wired. It's not like very, very strong, though. Right. As some of the other uh, other figures that, that we're familiar with, but you can you do have some maneuverability. Yeah, actually, yeah, the wire is fairly maneuverable. It's, it's, it runs all along the the, uh, the base of the cape, and um, the material on this cape is very thick, at, at least the exterior. And, um, yeah, it is actually which, very, which, which thick. I appreciate. It doesn't, you know, I mean, you don't really got to worry about ah this thing fraying too much or anything like that. You know? No, I mean, I haven't had any. The, here, here's my only the, it's not even his fault or hot toys fault but it, he's all white so you gotta be a little you know what i'm saying you gotta be a little careful yeah 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 it's not it's it's just the actual design of the character you know so you just yeah be, be a little cautious and stuff like that i mean before both of us started uh you know before we went live we were talking about getting gloves and stuff like that but you know yeah i thought I'm about grabbing my gloves but i'm like you know what if you hands. don't have gloves I don't have gloves. Don't We're just going to roll it this way. Um, so, you know, <laughs> you know? What's, bu- what's really bugging me right now is that based on this thing has, like we mentioned, the the, uh, the card art is actually permanently fixed to the base. The problem is, is that it's a little slick. 
there's there's a slick surface to this thing, and I find the figure kind of sliding yeah, me, all over the place. Let me bring you up a little bit there. A little bit. So so again, here's a here's a quick look at the at the uh, at the card art, right? As you see, I got a got a couple scratches, little scuffs, you know, but whatever. But this thing can like if you're messing with it, it just tends to kind of it just wants to slide, you know. So if I turn it this way, right, and I'm over here fussing with this uh, fussing with the cape a little bit, it just yep. You see? Yep. It just <laughs> so, happened. Yep. Yep, it's, it's like he's happens. on ice. So just, pretty much, yeah. So right. just be careful <laughs> setting this thing up, y'all. Now, what do you think about his his blaster, his pistol? This is uh this is a pretty sweet design. What I love is that I don't think we've ever seen a design quite like this previously. Or at least nothing that I can recall off the top of my head. Um, I like the fact that there's that there's wood details. Granted, we did get that in like the DL44 for Han Solo's pistol, but right. Let me, uh, let me see if I can uh, get in a little bit. Show, yeah, let me let me let me full screen you here. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all, with the with the lack of light. It's here, but um, yeah. Let me uh, let me just focus a little bit more. There we go. Some decent details that are on here. There, that's better. That's better. But yeah, the scope is really nice. I like how they did that, how they implemented that. And um, the other side. So yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, see here, if I try to, I mean, this is a different cam here, but if I can try to get it. Let me see if yeah, I can you got the better lighting. Too. Yeah, because this, this camera is much brighter. Let me just solo myself really quick, guys. Uh, just to try to give you a better, I know it's a little janky with this camera, but you can see it. I mean, this is a really nice, this is a really nice blaster guys. Uh, that's one thing I really, really enjoyed about it because it is, it's, it's unique, right? It's much, it's, it's so much different. Go. No, absolutely. 100. I just wish my freaking auto folks would work, which it doesn't. Yeah, so I know sometimes it's just kind of a pain, but. Yeah, so I mean the blaster's fin this phenomenal uh, and it's super sturdy too. It doesn't feel like a lot of the um some of the other blasters that we've gotten. You know, like uh I forgot the name, forgive me, I know, but like the uh what the standard stormtrooper blasters are, right? Like you know how they've got like they feel kind of chintzy, like they may they may snap if you if you if you play with them a little too too hard. So Look at this. this is the hell sturdy. Anthony, I I'm yeah, I'm you know, I'm deviating from you know, from us talking about the blaster, but this portrait though, bro. Dude, wow! You know, come on, they they did a they did an amazing job. I mean, even the details in the hair, the way they uh they got the little cow lick down, <laughs> the way that his hair parts it's, the, it's back of, the back of his head, that's crazy, bro. And um, yeah, the details on this thing, I love the uh, the ranking that he's got right here, and at the same time on the poncho, as you, if you could see, he's got, you know, when he was just not not so high of a rank, you know. So that was that was a nice touch. You know that they added that. So there's the uh, there's a the badge, the head sculpt. Like I said, y'all, it's it's phenomenal. It's absolutely yeah. And and do you guys know in chat? Because forgive me, because I I don't recall. But there are two like Mario's pointed out the ranks, and I don't know. So in the beginning, was he not the director? I mean, what was his official rank? Because he does. He has two different ranks, right? The yeah. Poncho prior, and then than his one later on take a look at the boots they are they are pleather but these do feel like a more durable material but i mean i still think that you know these won't last the test of time in, in my honest opinion no they're kind of what, what i've been going through lately with the, they're, they're, they're the standard like hot toys boots you know right. where you're just like oh man i wish these would have been a little bit better because you know right, what's cool like, is that there's there's actual details in this cape as well. I mean, you see the little, you know, the stitch patterns here. Let me see if I can try to capture that a bit. And you know with the shadows, but yeah, you can see the stitch lining and, and little, little stuff like that in this cape. It's really it's really really nice. You know, there's a there's a stitch that goes all the way down, down here. Yeah, no, the stitching is is phenomenal on this thing. Yeah, they did a great yeah they did a great job with the cape. Because for what he is, you remember, Krennic was just white. Right. He didn't have a lot of there's no there's no patterns or colors in this in this cape. But with that, like they they were able to like 
accentuate on all the stitchings, right? Like you were saying. I mean, it, so you yeah. do get, even though it looks white, uh, maybe on screen or in photos, when you have this thing in hand, you can really see the detailing in it. Uh, the the cape the cape is magnetic, so it, it doesn't latch on like like Lando. Um, it'll just kind of rest on the shoulders. If you have like Force or the Rise of Skywalker, Kylo Ren is very similar to that. I like this hat as well. The hat is amazing. This, this is a nice little touch. It's got the little Imperial logo on the top. Yes, That's nice. It That's is also nice. magnetic. It's very much like. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, some of the other figures that you may have had that had magnetic uh, hair pieces. Uh, mm -hmm. Luke Skywalker comes to mind. Han Solo. Han Solo. Yo, I have never actually messed with this. With the, with the I head? Mean, I've never, well, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I've I mean, never, so, I've, I've never dicked with it. So so his his scalp just comes right off, guys. Like, so the hair just comes right out. Uh, it's just It's just magnetic. You remove, this is all he has. He doesn't have multiple hair pieces. So you take off the rug and then you put on the hat. Boom. Just like that. Super easy. So I love it. I love that you can, you can essentially pose him, uh, you know, in different, in different settings, like with the poncho, with the cape, with or without the hat. I like that. I like I like having that diversity. Uh, you know, to be able to do this stuff with your figures because we all like posing, right? I mean, that's like that's half the reason we get these yeah. things. Yeah, it's called the pew pew shooter. Yeah, we can call it <laughs> Fabio. <laughs> uh, one of my biggest regrets as a collector is only pre-ordering Jin Erso Deluxe and not pre-ordering the rest of the Rogue One line. I was just more into Marvel Hot Toys at the time. I oh, totally yeah, understand Marvel's that. Hot back then, man. Yeah. There's there yeah. there is this ebb and flow with Hot Toys lately in the past three four five years where the pendulum swings right uh, Marvel super hot then it swings over to Star Wars and then it swings back to Marvel and occasionally we get some DC love in there but for the most part it, it does and I and I understand that there's a lot of people and, and that's not to say that you don't love Star Wars as much as the next guy but I I totally get that like because I was in Marvel for a while too as I was collecting my Star Wars figures. I was also getting MCU stuff, and then and then it's like, oh, I'm gonna have to pick because I'm I'm in two two major properties right now, and I can't get everything out of both of them. So at at, at a certain point, I decided to just curate my collection to where I just have Spider Man's, maybe some Marvel like comic versions of Hot Toys, but the MCU stuff I got rid of uh, just because of that, right? Because I don't I. I'm missing some of each, and I'd rather not do that. If I'm going to go in, I want to stay in, and I, I don't want to miss out, like you were saying, because it's, it's you know, especially Rogue One, man. Rogue One is just an awesome yeah. line. And as Mario pointed out, we're still getting some Rogue One figures, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah, Albeit we, they're troopers, still pretty dope. Hey, um, man, I'll take whatever we can get right now, even if it is yeah. troopers. Yeah, 303, 303. I know there's a couple different versions of 303. Uh, I don't recall which one I have, um, but they're both, they're basically all the same. That protectorant, um, if you guys want to use it, that's totally up to you. I use it myself personally. I haven't had any issues. Um, so I'm just speaking on my experience on that one. Uh, the collector number one does say Krennic technically is director, though, using Empire Strikes Back era ranks. He wears insignia of Admiral in Rogue One prequel novel. Krennic starts as Lieutenant Commander, then promoted to full commander and then demoted okay demoted i guess in the novels yeah, yeah uh soul nightmare says he believes director is more of a position than rank he's an m uh yeah sure. an esb officer uh but only heads up weapons development not the organization okay so i don't yeah i don't really know but i still think it's pretty cool that they uh that they give him the do two different ranks I like that. Yeah. Uh, single songwriters though is wondering. He wonders if Krennic boots would fit on Han Solo and New Hope. His Han Solo boots started to flake, but it took six years with no treatment. Posed in open air shelves for it to happen. Possibly. Possibly. I could ask my buddy Shane. He may know. Though he doesn't have a Krennic, but he's always he's always taking these guys apart and kid bashing stuff. So he he may know. 
but he, yeah, I mean, he's like, I don't know, dude. I, 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 it's so hard with Rogue One to say if like he's like my favorite, but he's definitely, he's definitely up there, man. ISB. Yeah, okay, good. yeah, Imperial Security fun. Bureau. There you go. I was just kind of tripping on that myself. Um, now I forgot what these things are called, Mario. But um, ah. what's that? Do the, you know uh, offhand? Cylinders? Yeah, I'm gonna sound like such a noob, but like he has the same kind of. What are these cylinders called at the top that go into the, um, into the sh uh, the shoulder pockets? I believe there's some sort of like keys that give you access to you know to different areas and stuff like that. Um, different ranks you know, have different access. So I believe these uh, cylinders are actually programmed for, you know, depending depending on your rank. Code cylinders. Code, code okay. cylinders, yeah. Code soul cylinders, there we go. There we go. Thank you, Soul. Uh, because I I forget, too. It's been, it's been a while. Um, nice Mandalorian font there. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, we mix it up. It's Star Wars themed, you know. So, uh, But I like that. And, and remember, Tarkin has those as well. Right. <clears throat> but I think he has more. So just put together a basic little museum pose. His hands are kind of folded. His arms are folded. His hands, you know, his hands holding each other. You know, it's just because the way that I have the camera angle, I kind of wanted to have his head pointing down, so we have that shot. You know, like you see before in the uh, in the in the in the promos. But I just thought I'd kind of make him look a little bit more. I don't know, a little bit more stoic in a sense. Yeah. I mean, if I just if I just tilt this a little more. This way. Now is his is his pistol in his holster? It sure is. Pistol's oh, right there. There it is. Yeah. Looks sick. Collector number one. Yeah, I Thanks, I love bro. and that's the thing with 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 Krennic. Okay, it it works with Krennic, right? Because the way he is, you can go ahead and do these poses, these kind of stoic poses. He doesn't necessarily have to be extremely dynamic right because he's an imperial officer he's not he's not spider-man so right. i think right, but, but i think i think you that pulls off much better that you can convey more of a neutral museum-esque pose with somebody like like krennic or tarkin and they look amazing right at the same time you know he demands the presence here in this kind of pose you know oh yeah i mean something something so simple yet effective well, what I'm going to try to do, since you're rocking it that way, I'm going to I'm going to flip side it. I'm going to try to use the poncho. Um, oh, OK. Yeah. Well, sorry. Just to show how you can get, you know, just the different options here. Now, to put the poncho on, though, you, you kind of want to pop the head out. I don't have the hair on right now either, but we'll just pop that joint out right here, as you guys can kind of see. And yeah. then we go ahead and place the poncho on. He doesn't have. He's not like um, who would I who would I say like a like a Qui Gon Jinn or a New Hope Luke. You don't have to open the arms up. Like usually you would have to get those arms extended outward, you know, on that uh, like ninety degree arc, and then bend back to kind of get the the arms to scoop in underneath. But um, this one you don't have to do that. You just pop the head, and that's it. Put the head back on. Poncho is secure. Head back on. There we go. And that's it. I mean, so I'll probably put the hat on him for this one uh, just because it's, you know, he's outdoors. He's wearing the poncho. But just like that, it's on. So you don't, like I said, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything with the arms to get that poncho on. And this is much lighter than the cape, obviously, right, Mario? It's not, uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's very, very thin. It's, it's very... Got a little bit of a uh, creamish kind of color too, and it is the material is a lot thinner as well. Yeah, it is. It is actually, yeah, like you said, a little cream, a little off white. It's not quite as imperial uh, white, but it is very. Um, it does have that little bit of off color to it, a little beige almost. It's very yeah. subtle though, but it's dude. It's so I love it. I think it's so cool, man. Uh, Ninja Squirrel's up in here as well. Evening, gentlemen. Hey, what's up, Ninja Squirrel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, collector says the head sculpt gives it that extra. It, dude, it does. Uh, that's such yeah, a great that's pose. <clears throat> that figure is awesome. Pose is perfect. Less is more. I agree. I agree, Shane. Yeah, thanks, Shane. Museum pose can't believe the viewers voted against Shurit. 
I know. Well, you know what? True. Will point. be next week. <laughs> right. So we'll just say that. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, we, Mario. Go ahead. You, no, let's just, let's just go ahead and let everybody know. I think we've taken liberty to uh, choose the next couple figures in the next couple weeks. So we've got was it Chirrut next week and I believe Jin Urso the week after well, that. I, no, so I think I think what we're gonna do is well, and I'm not sure at the time, right? Because we may we may reschedule the next episode, right? Am I am I correct on that one, or are we gonna do it on a Possibly. Sunday instead of Saturday? Possibly. Possibly, yeah. Okay, so what we are gonna plan we have so we have Chirrut, then the Shore Trooper, and then Jin Urso. Ooh, Shore Trooper. Yeah, and That's then right. the interesting. That's right. The interesting thing with Jin though is I don't have Deluxe. What you do. So we're going to, I'm going to bring out the regular and Mario's going to bring out the deluxe so we can, you know, compare. Right. Just show everybody all the extra bits that the deluxe comes with. That's yeah. A, yeah. I couldn't pass that up, man. I mean, luckily I was collecting by the time, you know, around that time it was, it was retail. So yeah, I was, I had the opportunity to pick the, the one that I wanted to get. Yeah, man. I, I, I did. Mine was just, I don't know. I don't know why the hell I got the regular, but I did. And, uh, kind of regret it. I kind of regret it. You know, my, my general, like after that decision, I was like, um, always go for the deluxe. Right. I was like, damn. (laughs) So, but that pose looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to do poncho. Uh Oh, what do you got pulling over there? Oh, uh, just a, a little bit of K2SO. You know, I'm going to go ahead and pull in some of the figures that we've looked at in the past couple of weeks. Ooh, so we're bringing in yeah. K2. And just for fun, let's go ahead and bring in Jin Urso and Imperial Disguise as well. So taking a quick uh, sneak peek of basically what's to come. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, this is, this is just three weeks, man. So by the time that we're going to be done, you know, with all of these figures, man, this whole table is going to be completely filled with all, with basically all the Rogue One figures, man. It's, it's, you know, I am so, I really want to have that displayed in the, in the Maji cases. So I'm happy that well, that's what's probably going to end up happening, bro. You know that, right? Oh, for sure. Easily. As we keep, <laughs> as we keep going no, through easily, these, yeah. that's, you look that's at them the all idea. together, you're like, okay, that's yeah, they're fantastic. Th- these aren't going somewhere else. Yeah. Right. Exactly, man. So. You know, if someone's got someone else has got to go to make room, then so be it. <laughs> That's what's got to happen, <laughs> right? <laughs> so now I'm wondering. I don't know how I'm going to pose this guy, but I think that looks amazing together with those three right now. I can't thank Bob Dylan enough. Don't forget to check out El Professor on Collecting Weekly. Bob, thank you so much, dude, for that. You know, great, freaking one of the best moderators out there. You know? Absolutely, Bob. Absolutely, thank brother. You, sir. Uh, that's a great that's it, hat to toys. You, gives you the cape option with Krennic. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. like I said, it's really cool that he gets an extra cape. I know it doesn't sound like much, but when you start when you own the figure and you, you have an opportunity to just kind of switch it up, you know what I mean? It's almost Yeah. I don't know, with the hat and the with the hat and the poncho, that's like one version, right? And it's then without the look. hat and then the cape is almost like another version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I mean, like I said, it's one of these figures that I think warrants a separate, uh, an, an extra, an extra purchase. If you if you can at at the time, if you're lucky enough to get them retail, I right. can see <laughs> why you would want to pick up two of them just to have those different display options. Lewis, the bits in the house. What's going on, Lewis? Yeah, what's good going on, brother? bud? And Riley Ramirez, what's up, my dude? What's cracking, dude? What's good, man? Hey, CT six zero three subscribed to Awesome Collecting brother. Weekly. I believe you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, we our goal is to try to get to a. I mean, right now I think we just hit the sixteen hundred subscribers. We want to hit three thousand by the end of the year, y'all. So go out there, oh, go yeah. tell your mom, your dad, your brother, your sissy, your grandma, your grandpa, your friends, your aunt, your uncle. Tell the cats and the dogs to get out there and sub the collecting weekly, y'all. Tell Help everybody because we coming for you. Exactly. You know, your fathers, brothers, cousins, nephews, former former roommate. Let them all know, man. Spread the let gospel. Them all know. Weekly, y'all. Absolutely, man. <laughs> let them all know. <laughs> Single songwriter <laughs> says photos outside with Krennic and two death troopers would be I'm saying I'm assuming you're saying be amazing. 
I actually did that. Those are so on did my I actually. Instagram. Me, a while uh, back. Anthony, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and accommodate single songwriter here with an actual photo of Do, the previous please. display. Yeah, let me know. We'll figure we'll we'll pull it up when ready. Bob says, guys, I will be doing a giveaway when I hit a thousand subs. Ooh. One oh he will. Oh, one lucky winner will receive any figure they choose from Anthony's personal collection. <laughs> Yo, dude, what uh I know you're not talking about my collection. So what other Anthony is there? Because I was gonna say he didn't he didn't really specify which Anthony, so I know, right? There's there's yeah. a few out there, so Yeah. I look forward to that. Um, but on the, <laughs> on that note, uh, yeah, if you guys also don't know, I am doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway as well for IG-11 sitting right down here, boxed in shippers, still sealed for one lucky winner. If you already have IG-11, that's okay. You can still get them. You can have a double. You can sell it. You can do whatever you want with it. You can donate it to somebody. Choice is yours. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. IG-11 is what's get, is the giveaway, friend. Uh, so I think Mario's taking a look for the image. Meanwhile, let me know when ready, and I will continue to figure out. See, you almost did something I wanted to do, but I think I'm going to change it up ever so slightly. Now, he does come with his two, uh, like, you know, default hands. And then um, what does he have? He has, has a couple, he has, he has a pair of fists, right? Yeah, so he's got a couple uh, yeah. of closed fists, and um, he has his left um, pistol hand, trigger finger, and uh, a couple of gripping hands. Now, am I tripping here, guys? Because it's been a minute, and I don't really know. This hand is closed, Mario, and it's like a, uh, it's almost like a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's um I thought maybe he could hold something, but it's all it's all sealed. So this is actually one of those hands that you basically take like taking your left hand, hand and kind of kind of kind of like this, you kind of rest it like on your chin. Ooh, there like you that. go. Yeah, you it's know, like lower your head. He's doing the model like shot. Ba exactly. Okay. Exactly. Fair enough. Fair enough then. Um that's right. I forgot what that's called. But yeah, so it's like more of a, a opposing hand. So now where is that trigger hand? Because I'll bless with that as well. I think I'm going to have him holding the sidearm. Now, Moss says the problem with Krennic is he doesn't really pose in the show other than that pseudo parade rest. Um, I can't recall any other pose he would be in. I don't believe we ever saw him shoot someone. No, but I believe he pulled the sidearm out, right? When he was He did I think didn't Jen. he shoot at Jen? Yeah. Because yeah, he did shoot was, at her. He was shooting at her while they were climbing to get the, the Death Star plans, I if I recall. I gotta watch it again. We're gonna watch it again. We'll do a watch party. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yeah, he All shot right. Jen. Okay, that that's that's what I thought. It's like I said, I've I i have not watched it in a while. Um I think we saw Krennic aiming his pistol at Jen Urso's mom. Um, yeah, I think you're right on that one, too. So Let I found his photo for single songwriter. Let's bring that one up. So, granted, not directly between two Death Troopers, but this is how I had it set up previously um, with two specialists. But the way that I had themed it is that he's basically next to Tarkin, and then next to Tarkin is the Emperor, then Vader. So kind of Kind of themed it up with the officers next to the emperor and then, you know, with the troopers off to the side like this. But, but yeah, he looks amazing with the troopers, with the death troopers. A hundred percent. My only issue with that is I don't have, um, I don't have the death troopers, guys. I have my <clears throat> Mandalorian death troopers. Right. I I'm missing, I'm missing the standard death trooper. So I have the two specialists. I'm just missing the standard one. Oh, okay. Like the 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 Mandalorian ones? No, no. I have the Mandalorian one. I'm just missing the uh, the Rogue One Death Troopers. Because there's the Death Trooper Specialists and then the Death Trooper Specialist Deluxe, right? 
But there's also a standard one. I think it's the there one that you have, one? actually. There's a standard one with a long rifle. Don't you have that one? No, both of mine are Mando. I do have a long rifle, though, that was from Commander Cody. Did he come with a really long rifle? He did, but it's a different type of weapon. Yeah, it's. I think it's a different type of weapon, but I, I, I think I'm using that um, hmm. as a okay. replacement or substitute rather. Gotcha. Uh, Cause I did, I did miss the death troopers. That's, you know, mm. yeah. 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 It happens. And Antonio mafioso. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So in the end he pulled as well. Uh, uh, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So we, but we, we've seen a little bit of pistol draw on him, but you're right though. For the most part, he didn't do a lot. of like in that respect for posing. Um, but again, I'm yeah. also in the same way. It's it's been a minute, man. I, I haven't watched Rogue One in a while, but I absolutely love that movie. That's why it's time for a uh, bit of a watch party, man. Let's get yes. whoa shit. Let's get familiar. <laughs> you know, with the movie, re familiar. Yeah, we oh, gotta get back into that. Um, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I'm gonna do that one now. Are you gonna do any kind of other pose with him, or are we keeping him in that position? Uh, you like that one? I do actually. I actually do like this one. You know. All right. I'm on so like I said, what, stoics got presence. I'm feeling it. So what are some things that you don't like about Chronic? The fact that it's an all white suit and you have to be extra cautious, keep your hands clean, wear gloves, what have you. Don't be messing with this bad boy with Cheeto hands or anything like that. <laughs> you know. Right. Um the What's also kind of bothersome is that, I mean, material's material, it's gonna crease, whatever. You get past that. The exposed joints, in a sense, like say if you bend his arm a little bit too much, you know, then the sleeve pulls back a little bit too far into the forearm, and which you gotta try to pull it out just to kind of compensate for that. But he's got this under uh, little undershirt that's um, beneath that. It's a little, um, it's a little bit of an eyesore personally, but I can, I can get past it, you know, depending on how you have them posed. The articulation is really good. Um, it's, it's, it's got everything you basically need. Um, I believe that all the arms are double jointed. Um, yep, they are. What do you and, think about uh, the side here with the pants, how they, 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 they kind of balloon out here uh, by the thighs. That's accurate. That's actually accurate that, to the, uh, to the design of the, the characters. Right. I mean, that's, that's, what I'm saying. That's, a, that's a nice, like attention to detail oh, here. Yeah, yeah, I love the fact how they captured all those those types of details. Um, I wish they would have used um, a different boot design, maybe a split cut with the plastic rather than the full pleather. You know, so that's going to be a that's going to be heartbreaking when it when it starts to degrade. Now, I'm I'm a little confused here, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his trigger finger is left. Is his left hand that it is, and then his holster's on the right. So does he draw left-handed, Be- or yeah. did they just? Because I don't, I don't remember. I, I actually, I actually don't know. It just, it makes sense. I mean, hey, you draw, draw left-handed, pull it out, and boom, there you go. But you could. But yeah, the fact that his trigger finger is only on his left hand, that's um, yeah. So it's kind of hard for me to, you know. Yeah. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Um, but six scale reviews is up in the house. Oh, y'all ready for pose wars? <laughs> I'm sitting out tonight, uh, Dan. So it's not, I'm it's, ready. it's not our turn. You know that, but this young man, actually, El Mafioso, he'll, he'll definitely be there. I will be there this evening for sure. Uh, um, Mario put the gun in his hand and keep it in the general pose. Oh, yeah, that's that's kind of right. what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of trying to do right. that that promo kind of shot. Yeah. So, but I, I'm I'm gonna I don't know how this is gonna work. So, Bloodsport One, what's up, Mafia and Mario? What's good, bro? In the chat room, what's happening, Bloodsport? Uh, Soul Nightmare Death Troopers have the DLT 19X. Clones use the DC 15A, which both use the German MG 42 as a base. They do. Hitler's buzzsaw. That was the nickname of the MG42, my friends. But you're right. You're right. They do. They do hold like kind of have that 
that uh, like machine gun base like uh, style. It's definitely not an assault rifle, you know, or a, a submachine gun. It's it's a very long, yeah, like LMG. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to do the pistol too, but I'm gonna do the punch. And here's the, here's 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 my thing. It's difficult with Krennic to get really any uh, neck articulation. Um, yeah. So like, if you want to put his head down, guys. Like you cannot get it down. So what I like, what I like to do is I remove the head. It's on kind of tight. Ooh. So as I remove the head and I get it in here, I try to get it to where it looks like it's not like giraffe neck. You know, I'm not pushing it quite down, um, but still in there. And you can kind of get, you know what I'm saying? So it's not on the ball joint, but you have to kind of, you know, you got to fuss with it for a little while and see if you can get that head. See how he's kind of looking down right here um, without looking like his neck's broken or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's how I try to get that um, particular um, angle uh, with the neck. So I'm trying here, but it's, it's not, it's, that's the only kind of drawback for me personally. Now, the reason I was asking about the trigger hand is because he doesn't have like, so he has another left hand. That's kind of this resting, like open palm, which I think would work well to like kind of rest on the wrist or something like that. But that doesn't work because the trigger finger is left handed. Um, you can manipulate it as such. I'm actually using the right hand to try to pull it off also. Yeah, that's what I'm currently doing right now too. That that one that's just kind of like like this, slightly, uh, slightly, slightly opened. Um, H Green thirteen thirteen says so bummed I missed out on Krennic. You know, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Out of the Rogue One line, I would say Krennic's the cheapest on the secondary market. Really? What's do you happen to know what he's going for these days? Yeah, on average, I mean like three fifty to four hundred. You can pick him up for. 350 is not that bad. Actually. It's not that bad. Yeah, it really isn't. You know, considering he's gone and whatnot. I know that's still a little bit pricey, but compared to, say, picking up, you know, a Gen Erso or, or Turret or, or K2SO, yeah. you know what I'm saying? In that respect. So, Darren, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Of course, if you guys Absolutely. already haven't. Please go ahead and like, subscribe. Also check out Mario Collecting Weekly. His link's in the channel as well. We're getting there. Almost to 1,000 subscribers over here. I'm totally yeah. looking forward to that. Hopefully we get there before the end of the month, man. That's my goal. That's my goal. But Help the man. We'll see. Help the mafioso get to that 1,000 subscribers, y'all. Yes, sir. That would be... That's like I said. That's the short term right now. And I think, I think, I think we'll get there before the end of the month. Um... So there we go, Maz. Is this any better? I went ahead and added the uh, incorporated the pistol. I'm gonna I'm gonna full screen you here. Let me just kind of readjust. There we go. How's that? So you have the Not you right have his there. pistol in his right hand. I do actually. I do. Interesting. I just use basically the. Uh, the other hand whatever gripping right hand that was there yeah it doesn't yeah. necessarily trigger finger so it's just holding on to the uh to the pistol grip and yeah just angle the wrist peg a little bit down towards uh towards his body so you can angle the arm with the hand down a little bit and um i compensated the the uh the left hand to kind of hold on to the arm just a little bit right there if you can see it to kind of give it a little bit more of that illusion that he's holding on you know to his wrist now, see, that's that is good. what, that's what I was going to do. So I think we're going to have the same pose, but Are we slightly now? different. Okay. Well, slightly different. So I think slightly different. Um, as you can kind of see on my end here, well, he's all janky looking right now, <laughs> but uh, same no, thing. I'll, go I've got the, I'll change I've him got up. The, I'll change him up a little bit. No, no. I mean, I, 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 I'm only saying that because I have the poncho on and the, yeah. uh, the helmet, or I'm sorry, the, the, the hat. Yeah, I actually have an idea. Let me go ahead and see if I can uh, work on something here. Well, trying to get that pose, uh, you know, that you bring up a point with um, manipulating the wrist pegs on these figures. 
Absolutely. oftentimes people just leave the wrist peg in their default position when you can, you know, you can, you can manipulate that first to get that different rotation uh, that really gives you that sense of realism, right? Cause a lot of, you know, the hot toys right out the box, you can really get these joints to kind of maneuver. A lot of times you're like, Oh, I can't get the, you know, I can't get the, the wrist to turn that way. But if you, if you take the, the, the hand off and then reposition it, or you can work that way, you can work your way in that. Same with the shoulder joint. Cause I want to try to have that nice bend. I like, I like more of a relaxed pose and um, almost like depending on, on what you're trying to do, like an S Uh Oh, I just dropped something from him. No. Oh yeah. I dropped something, dude. Bro. That's like the worst. I think I dropped the, the things that are on his, um, on his left, on his uh, belt, on his belt. Mm. I lost something. I'm going to have to look for it here in a minute. In the meantime, Mario, actually, I'm going to give you full screen for a minute. Oh, please don't. <laughs> oh, there you are. You can watch you know. him in action because look, I got to get down okay, here on the all ground. Right, all right. I lost something here, guys. So one second. So I'm going to go ahead and try. Um, let's see if I can get him to shoot this pistol little bit let's see how this looks what's going on in the chat bob dylan says anything under 450 dollars i would jump on it bro even yeah i mean i think if i'm honest i think 400 is like my actual limit it's kind of hard to justify some of these figures especially the older ones you know considering their age and the materials used because you really don't know how much of a lifespan they have left and you know 400 is where i try to uh is where i try to be at uh, cut to Chris. What do you guys think of? Uh, it's a good price for this figure now. Um, Anthony mentioned about three fifty. Um, he's been seeing him go for. That's that's. I think that's a pretty decent deal. Um, but like I mentioned, I don't think this thing is this guy is worth any more than, you know, to be perfectly honest, three fifty. I think. But if you really really want it, I think you could probably. If you want to spend four hundred, yeah, I think, I think four it, would you know? be max. Yeah. Let me ask you. On his left side, right? He's got the three. What are these things? I forget. Are there three on his side or are there two? There are actually, there are three of them. There so that is what fell that I cannot find right now. Oh, shit. So if you guys just yeah, remind me, it. we'll look for it in a little while. I don't want to do it right now. Just, I don't want to forget. You... Yeah. Yeah, actually. Because oh, something fell. I, I heard it fall, and I'm like, oh, wait, there's, it's not there. You got to find yourself a... Oh, no, these are plastic. These are magnetic. Get I know, right? You'll be able to just, just swing them up. The floor uh, and then, yeah. yeah, Andre, hate, hate when something drops off a figure. Thank goodness for phone. I know. I was just using my phone flashlight right now trying to find it. Um, you mentioned earlier about the, uh, about the neck not being able to pivot down. That's kind of a... Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Kind of a bummer, right? You can feel he's very really stiff. Is really is so i'm gonna try to uh turn it well i think the problem with this is because you know just being like a, you know imperial officers they're not like um you know they're not jedi or superheroes or anything like that so they just kind of have a base they're just a basic figure essentially yeah yeah Reposition these legs a little bit. Get them on the yeah, stand. so I'm really trying to like fold this over. It. I don't know. It's not looking right for me right now, but I wanted to get more of a relaxed kind of pose. But I'm having a hard time getting that hand overlapping. Ooh, there to we give go. him that relaxed fit. Um, there we go. I might have something. Well, I definitely understand what you're saying about the base being very slick because as trying to pose him yeah. on this on this slick the slickness, he keeps like falling over. Now I don't know if this is going to look great, but I am going to just try to do a basic. 
Yeah, see, I, I don't like that. I don't like how I did this. Personally, I don't think this looks very good. Mm. I will go ahead and full screen just to show you guys what I'm talking about here. I don't feel like mm. that looks what pretty I would janky do, with the neck. He's looking straight down. I would see if he could probably tilt it a little bit more. Actually. Yeah, the, like like I said, the problem is is that we have him. He's not the neck's not attached to the joint. So I can like bring it up slightly, oh, gotcha. like maybe like that. Here, let's stop the rotating and we can just kind of. That's not too bad. And I still have to futz with the hands, but I try to incorporate the poncho, like a little bit of a wrap around to kind of, you know, simulate that maybe like if I can get it here. And like you were saying, Mario, it's, 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 it's a little more fun if you can mess with this without like attachments, you know, any like outside uh, you know, influences to manipulate. So if I can get this poncho just right, I want it to kind of like flow out a little, like it's windy, right? So I'm trying to do something here. Dukathri's up up in the house. What's up, bud? What's up, gentlemen? How you doing, bud? Got to work the butterfly joints in the shoulder, mate. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm going to try to do here. This is just kind of where I'm going with it. So we're going to, we're going to have to see how this works. Uh, Jason says, bro, I haven't forgotten what we talked about. Once my significant other feels better. Hey, appreciate that, bud. I hope she feels better too, man. We got, we got something to look forward to. Uh, if you need an invite, PM me on Facebook and I'll invite you to the good ones. Uh, Bob Dylan, I think I may have missed what you're trying to say there. Uh, Lala Studio says, don't wait. You'll forget the direction and sound. It makes just happened to me the other day. Yeah, I know. Okay, so so it's on the floor somewhere right here, guys. I will get it before the end. I will. I will. Um, Moss says the left, his left arm needs to sit on the right if possible. Yeah, work the joints. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and work the joints here in just a moment. Just kind of catching up with chat. Uh, I can't stop thinking about the missing piece. Mafia drop feels like he should not. So I'm searching the floor adventure till it's found. I know I will I'll, look, I'll, I'll take a look here. I'll take a look here. Um, yeah, exactly. Jason, that's kind of what I'm trying to do on the outsides. Uh, like, you know, at the beginning when he's out there with the death troopers, we're going to go ahead and see. Meanwhile, let's take a look at Mario here. Ooh. I like that. Tell us a little bit about that pose, my friend. Sorry, I was mute y'all. So, Let's see. I'm just going to pull the camera up a little bit. This is the kind of angle that I wanted. It was basically I, somewhere like that. And the, hand, the hand can be, or the arm can be compensated a little bit more. But So basically got his cape a little bit billowed out. I've uh, twisted the body a little bit. So if you look at uh, this angle coming up around the corner, there's a slight, you know, his, his back is a little bit, leaning one way his side is leaning one way where it's kind of like forms the little shape of an s you know around around here a little curved you know i kind of like that look got his right hand basically holding on to his cape a little bit um yeah that's basically that's the that's the uh, basic pose i try to um lower the the neck a little bit but i really didn't want to you know i wasn't getting what i wanted but i think i think right there is probably the money shot Oh yeah. I like how what you got that bro? cape flowing right there as well. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you know what guys? I'm I'm looking. I am everybody's like, where's that damn piece? So here we go. So a quick look at this guy. Yeah. Just the camera a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, I like it, man. I mean, yeah, this is a pretty nice, nice little simple pose as well. It's simple, but I think it's effective. I mean, there's a lot going on with his cape billowing in the wind on one side, and just, he's holding on to it on the other side. You could probably futz the cape a little bit more just to give it a little bit more dynamicism, make it look more dynamic. <clears throat> but, yeah, man, I mean, it's fun. It's really, really fun posting these figures, man. Yeah, see if I can lower the arm a little bit, actually. Well, you guys will be pleased to know. I found it. You found it. Awesome. Where was it? It was under the desk. It went way in the back there. 
<laughs> All right. Hey, at least you found it, bro. So there it is. <clears throat> this little piece right here. All right. So let's put that back on there before I lose it. And I tell you what, I, next time I try to pose Krennic, I am not posing him on this damn stand. Because you're right. He I like slipping. this how basically K2 and Krennic are kind of shooting in the same direction here. It's, uh, it's funny how that worked out. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's cool looking. You know, and he doesn't have to be K2SO. That could just be an Imperial droid. Absolutely. You can definitely you it. play around with that. You know what I'm For saying? For sure, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, nope, nope. Bob Dylan, I've gotten it. I found it now. Hot Toys looks nice. way better when they are paired. The dynamic scene created just pops. That's what it's all about, man. I 100% oh, agree sure. with that. Uh, terrible feeling. Hope you, I, yeah, <laughs> it has yeah, been recovered. Um, absolutely. Jason, anyone looking for a Krennic? Bob Dylan is. I think maybe Jason may have a spare. Um, Ooh. I think there are creatures that hang out near our feet, and whenever we drop something, they take that item and move it clear across the room. Dude, I'm, um, yeah, Maz, I'm, pff, yeah, I know. Yeah, like, always just I, seemed to, like, I was posing, uh, I busted out my Neo. I was setting him up. First time setting him up, too, since I bought him. And um, the, in the, uh, he has a dynamic stand, right, with the, with the flight pole. So I'm messing with the, uh, with the screw, you know, for, the, for how tight it actually goes around the clamp, around the, around the pole, rather. And I guess I loosened it too much in which the screw just fell out. A little, little tiny screw, tiny black screw. I've got carpet here on the floor, and that thing is gone, man. You know, I took a magnet. Oh man, really? All over the floor, try to try to recover it, but yeah, it's it's gone. Oh, so, man. I've accepted. Hey, I mean, I, it's a little screw, no big deal. I lost the slice of pizza that came with Scarlet Spider. You, oh, it's okay. gone. I was gonna say it's uh, not the whole piece, not the whole pie, but the one slice of pizza that it came with. I lost it. It's it's gone. I mean, it's oh, gone. I cannot problem. find that thing, man. Um, to Coffee so, though, is wondering real quick: Does Krennic have split cut boots? How is the joints in the articulation? He does not have split cut boots. The articulation, I think, for the most part, is is really really good. Um, you got your butterfly joints. It's kind of hindered by the uh, by the outfit, though. You've got your uh, your silver biceps, your double your double uh, hinged um, arms. You've got the wrist pegs that rotate. It's got a double bend knee. Um, legs rotate. Typical uh, articulation. I believe, Anthony, do we have uh, I didn't try it, but I believe we do have uh, articulation. We got pivot in the ankles. Yeah, we have a yeah, little bit. A little bit. Yeah. We've got a little pivot here. Um, but this is, again, an issue that we have with a lot of hot toys where these particular style boots, I wouldn't recommend bending around too much, right? You know the boots I'm talking about. Like These things eventually, I think, are going to they may go, unfortunately, yeah. I think. But don't quote me, but just be careful with them. Mm. KG Collector, what's up? What's going on, KG? How you doing, bud? What's good, KG? Yeah, they're called underpants gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Doc Smizzle, what's going on, bud? Uh, Soul Nightmare, yeah, sometimes when I'm looking for figures, I start thinking, but what do I put him with? Yeah. That's really, you know, and like you were saying, it's, it's, it really elevates the display when you have figures that can go well together. Or if you had a bunch of figures that don't go well together, but they go together anyway, and then that, boom, that in got, itself works you, too. You got something truly special. Yeah, the worst is that you know the screws in the room mocking you but can't be found. Oh, dude, yes. for sure. Tell me about it. Yes. Ma says tonight he's going to show us how to protect said boots. Oh, sweet. Uh, does anyone make split cut third party boots? That's an interesting question. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, there's a lot of third party stuff out there, but do they make one specifically designed for a specific hot toy? That's the question, right? Because you could get some kind of boots like that, but throw them on Krennic and it, it wouldn't look right. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What about you, Mario? You know anybody that does that? Not to my knowledge. No. Yeah, uh, not no. to mine I don't know either. If y'all can, 
I don't know if, if this is actually coming across, but well, we're gonna full screen you, know, you right now, buddy. This is how you know shit is serious. The uh, pistols actually turned sideways now, so oh. you know shit's going down. <laughs> yeah, dog, going gangster. <laughs> Look on at them. that, exactly, man. It's fun messing around with these figures, bro. You know. Oh, let's absolutely. Give a something. You know what you could do? Yeah. Um, Tilt the hand a little bit down, a little bit. I'm going like to try that, something myself. Like, give me a moment. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh, this I, is funny, dude. I'm going to leave you there for one moment. Are you now? I'm here. I'm here. There we go. Put it back, but have it kind of angling down a little bit. Yeah, just having fun with the figure, man. Oh, that's what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. You got to have fun, even if it's not like movie accurate or anything. Okay, you know, you're having fun with your figures. Yeah, just put your own take on a pose or whatever and add your own accessories if you want. I mean, hell, you remember when we were kids? It. I mean, what did we have? If we had oh, if we yeah, had G.I. Yeah. Joes, but we also had Star Wars, we played with them together and like, you know. Yeah, 5PO. Yeah, then freaking put them in a Transformer or something like that. and Yeah. Bob Dylan says gangsta crinizzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean like you could do something uh just for example. And I'm just kind of playing around, but let me go ahead and full screen you can see. So with Jin, I just made her what the helmet oh. on. You know? That, so you can just kind of pretend you can do that. Yeah. Right. This whole, it's just <laughs> turn this entire setup as Imperial, man, with K2 and put the helmet on Jin. Oh, that's yep. It's nice, man. I like that. We're getting there. We're getting there. So I think, you know, that's gonna be what's next here. I will probably get K2SO and we're gonna have a nice little uh Imperial powwow here, right? Because like I say, you can pretend. It's fun. So I collector Chris is too, asking man. Thanks, bro. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I like it too. I, uh, here's the thing. So I, I put it in one pose and I'm like, oh man, I really like it. And then I put it in, I, I get another crazy idea that I want to try and it turns out decent. I'm like, I like this pose too. So I'm like, you know, it's kind of, it, it's fun just to pose around your figures, but then you, you ultimately have the decision on how you want to display this on your shelf. Uh, Collector Chris is asking if you can only uh, get one of the sold out figures from the Rogue One line, which one would it be? My God, that's tough. Um, the thing is with me personally, the Rogue One line has so many troopers and I love them all. I want them all. Pretty much have them all. Minus one. Uh, but me being me, I gotta say Vader, man. So full disclosure, I'm not really the biggest fan of that uh, cod piece considering how poofy it is. That reminds me of a big giant diaper. However, yeah. it's it is Darth Vader. This is a clean, the helmet is extremely clean and shiny. I think that figure has a lot of presence uh, if you pulls them up correctly. And it's Darth freaking Vader, man. You know, so for me, that particular Vader is, is really, really good. So that's the one that I would want. That's well, for me, and Vader's good. I, I don't have Vader. I know. I need to have him. I don't have him. If I could get anyone that I didn't have, or whatever I would I would K2SO, which I just brought out as a matter mm. of fact. So I don't know if this is gonna work with the GoPro. <clears throat> Let me kind of switch the camera real quick so you guys can see this on a different angle. And so I kind of I like I said I kind of have that that imperial vibe going right there. There you go. So we have the droid. We'll just call him an imperial an imperial droid. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have to be K2SO. Then we have Krennic, and then we have Jin, but let's just pretend she's not Jin, right? So we got the helmet on. Uh, looks kind of, you know, it's just something fun to do. I mean, if I can speed this up, let me speed this up. Well, I thought I was speeding it up. There we go. So we got it going a little faster. I mean, oh, I don't know that thing actually is on different speeds. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah, I can set I I can set things to different speeds. 
Nice. So I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about that one, but I think it's, I think it's, I think that's pretty good. I like it, man. I mean, I, mean, I like how around. you have all three of them in, in Imperial garb, you know, it's yes. fantastic. I love it. Yeah. I thought maybe I that'd be something fun. That. I may have to play around a little bit with the pose on Krennic, but for the most part, you know, oftentimes you'll, you know, and I've, I've done it. You've done it. We've all done it. Who has it? We have Krennic and we have two death troopers with them. But it's kind yeah. of fun to do it this way too. Or in fact, you could go even further and then still have two death troopers on the flanks. And then have, three says an idea for the poles war segment. Uh, must be a pair or triplet posing challenge. Um, I think we're kind of, I mean, as far as like bringing in multiple figures and posing them all together, because we, we actually do that. Yes. One of the rounds is, is basically a free for all. My last, the last one that I did, I, I brought in um, Iron Man Mark 46 with the uh, Spider Man upgraded suit, basically, you know, beating the crap out of Captain America. Um, if that's what you're yes. talking about, so that those were cool. all three of those were posed up, and um, yeah, there's some other posers that are also doing creative uh poses out there, and um, I'm a little bit more biased towards myself, you know, because you know, it's me, <laughs> so well, we all ha we all kind of are, yeah, we all yeah, are we, in that way. On. yeah, go yeah. me, um, right, anyways. go me, of course, yeah, like tonight, <laughs> but no, okay, I'm gonna be on pose wars, hell yeah, me. bro, hell yeah, oh. no, <laughs> <laughs> but not dude, tonight is gonna be some incredible competition, man, with. With John and Lael and with uh, with Danny Lee and um, you know Jose it's gonna be rough. is going to be there. It's going to be fun, dude. You know Stephen yeah, B. It's going to be. It's going to be. I'll dope. be on. I already know what yep. I'm using. Anthony. Yeah. You want to go ahead and uh, let the people know what you're going to use, or you want to? It's going to be a surprise. Do I? Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe. Let's see it's how. Up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. No pressure. Maybe I will before we wrap. Um, Andre okay. says I said right. last show. But I love watching you guys, loving the figures you own. Great show. Thanks, Andre. Thank Appreciate you very much. By, man. Glad you're enjoying it, man. My dude, oh, Eddie, Eddie Money Mendez is in the house. What's up, brother? Oh, he is. Hey, guys. What's, What's up, Eddie? Eddie, yeah, Eddie and I up, actually man? working on something with... Uh, <laughs> so he just picked up the, the Mandalorian premium format. So we're yeah. going to do a comparison between the Iron Studios that I have and, um, and with his premium format, Mandalorian. So still trying to figure out when probably tomorrow oh yeah well that's gonna be something cool man yeah i just uh, disconnected cooking. so stand by i unplugged i might or my headphone whoops so collector chris is asking are you guys collecting the 40th anniversary esp figures uh yep 100 man absolutely man i mean uh, I'm, a, I'm, yeah. an, I'm an ot collector you get them all dude <laughs> so uh, my problem with that is i did not so no okay i have well, my they're vintage, still available i have vintage fat and i have uh, -huh. uh lando okay that's it is the vintage fat considered 40th anniversary esb or is, no it's just vintage i yeah. remember having that branding i don't, I don't no i have to look at my box but he does have the dope packaging yeah so he does. i'll have Dude, to i'll have to look. i'm not gonna lie that was a bit of a tough one to open you know considering that it's an homage to the original Kenner figure. Yes. And with the packaging as well, it's, it was so well done, man. The overall presentation. I loved it. Yeah. So it just kind of, it kind of, it kind of messed me up. Cause I was like, Oh man, do I want to get a Boba Fett? Yeah. You know, I, I grabbed my vintage. I think I'm good with my vintage. Um, and then of course the show was coming, you know, and the whole Mando situation was, you know, so I was like, Maybe I'll skip on the Empire Strikes Back. I, I kind of regret it now. I think I should just get it. But now I'm like, I don't want to pay the money for it. And same thing with Vader. I just have a Vader. So, yeah. I love to Cawthry's last comment saying that these shows, what he's watching right now, the retro unboxing, the Pose Wars, the, making them want to buy hot toys even more than the, any hot toys marketing or blogger picks. That's awesome, hey. dude. Because, I mean, you actually get the, you get, you get an actual perspective from the collector. You know, that's actually set, taking the time to set everything up, man. And yeah, I'm glad. Uh, yeah, I feel the same way, bro. No, that's, that's awesome. good. I, I like that, Tukathri. Thank you. Because yeah, that's what we do, man. Like, we're trying to have fun and show the community. You know, we all have passion for it. And not to say that bloggers' photos don't or other reviewers don't. But to be able to come mm -hmm. in together, do it live, 
share the experience yeah, with you guys. Exactly. That's, that's a little more, we're down to earth here. We're not saying, you know, Hey, go, go make sure to go hit my affiliate link and buy this, but you have to get this figure. Like, you know what I'm saying? We get to talk about right. it and be like, this is what we got going on. I don't like the neck joint. You know, I love the video. Mm -hmm. you know, we'll be real about it and, and be able to, you know, communicate with everybody. It's so I appreciate that, man. That's, that's, that's awesome, dude. Um, primetime said, not sure if you said or not, did your two pack come in? No, man, dude, like FedEx is being stupid. Mm. Do you know where it's at? Yeah. It's in Tennessee, bro. Why? How long ago did it ship? Uh, dude, like Monday, I think I bought mm. it Saturday, but it was like post office stuff or whatever's shipped yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Get, it got to Alaska. Then it went all the way to Tennessee. I'm like Southwest. I'm like, why the hell did it go to the Tennessee? <laughs> now it's coming all the way back to me. I'm like, I, I don't know what the hell's going on, man. They typically don't take that long to ship from overseas, right? Don't I've seen collectors receive their their orders. Like yeah, they come pretty quick. So. But it was FedEx though, and I, FedEx is not that great, man. FedEx is not that great. Uh, collector Chris says, "Agreed." You guys inspire. I like listening to people who have passion for it. Thanks, Thank man. you. That is what's up, man. That is what's up. Um, single songwriter, has any of you purchased from Mercari? Yes. I haven't. I have, and I do, and I actually have things on there right now for sale. <laughs> so if mm. you see one, it says Six Skill Mafia. That's my name on there. That's me, obviously. There you go. Um, Look them up. Mercari's cool. Mercari's cool. In fact, let's talk about that, shall we? Sure. Okay. So I was looking on Mercari and sometimes you get these deals, right? You get these deals on there. You're like, wow, that's cheap. That's not going to last. I got to, you know what I'm saying? Those pop right. up now, whether or not, whether or not it's a situation where a collector is just like, damn, I got to get rid of something, right? He needs some money and maybe he's going to lower a cheaper price or, you know, in the latter, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they don't know what they have, right? Mm -hmm. could be a friends of a friend or something or a family member that's not like into it like 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 how we are as a community right as collectors they don't really know they list it anyway long story short there was the rogue one jetta patrol stormtrooper on Ooh. Macari, and it's the one with the white pauldron it's not the two pack right but it's the one it's the white pauldron rogue one trooper um now that thing typically goes from four fifty to six hundred dollars. I see it. In fact, there's one on eBay right now that has multiple bids on it that's already in the three hundred something range, and it still has like a week to go, I think, on the bid. Anyway, with that said, I was browsing Mercari, found that trooper listed for two hundred and ninety dollars. Checked shipped? it out. Uh, yeah, shipped. Wow. Checked it out. Now, here was my reservation. The user has no sales, no purchases, and the account was created this month, January. Now, mm. of course, Sean, you know, Toku Collector, uh, and Shane, we were talking about that, and they're always like, oh, that's kind of iffy, man. It's kind of iffy, right? It's a new account. Is it a, you know, but here's the thing with Macari. So, Macari, you, the, the seller does not get paid, okay, until the buyer receives the item and I log into Mercari, right? So I have to log back into my account after I've checked out my package that I've received and I have to, I have to give it the all clear. I hit, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, this is good. This is what I ordered. This is what I expected. Then Mercari bounces that back to the seller and then, then the seller gets paid. So with that said, I'm like, dude, there's no way. Cause how are they going to, they can't like, what are they going to do? Like they can't scam me on it because they're not going to get paid. So anyway, yeah. anyway, I don't know what happened, but we checked and uh, USPS. I've got a tracking number. It should be here Tuesday. So hey, man. Sometimes we'll see. I'll know Tuesday if I got them. But sometimes awesome, you get these. Kill There's some killer <clears throat> deals out there, bro. People just put stuff out there. You know what was crazy about that actual trooper? So one day I thought this was a glitch. You know how sometimes Sideshow finds stock in the corner of their warehouse or something like that? Mm -hmm. That that trooper, after it was long sold out, actually went up for pre-order. And it went up for pre-order for a minute back in, uh, I think it was March of 2020. And I just happened to be browsing Sideshow and um, I saw that it went up for pre-order. So I shared it in their groups and everybody was so happy to see it basically resurrected. 
And I, I, I guess they made a second batch or something, but they came through, man. They fulfilled a bunch of orders, and that was so cool to see something like that actually happen. So, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Man. So just keep an eye on sideshow out there, man. Sometimes you might find something come back. Sometimes from sideshow will do it too. I know, and that's the mm-hmm. other thing with sideshow. I will say is sometimes, man, bro, just get on that wait list. If it's, if there's a wait list, just get on it. Yeah, get on every figure that you want that you missed that still has a wait list. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because I mean, it like, hurt. I it's 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 you look at somebody like count dooku right has a wait list you're like what usually would just say sold out i think he is correct me if i'm wrong but not that long ago i looked at it he still had a wait list um he might be out now but for the most part there's still a lot of old figures or older releases that still have a join wait list button um or if nothing else it says wait list full which means that uh, an opportunity could come to get back on that wait list. So it's weird how they do that where other figures, they just straight up say sold out. So you never really know. You never really know. Sometimes like I wouldn't count on it, but it doesn't hurt to just get on a wait list for a figure that you wanted. Cause I've had some wait lists convert. Had yeah. I not have gotten on it, I would have, I would have never got the figure. You know what I mean? So it is, it is possible. Um, well, sports wondering mafia, what is the best deal you got online? Ooh, mm. that's a good one. Well, it might be this 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 stormtrooper right now that we're just talking about the Jetta uh, Patrol. Uh, that's a pretty killer deal for that figure at that price. So we'll see what happens when it comes through. Um, I've scored some good deals though. Mm. I guess if anything, well, it's 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 a matter of perspective. Like my Stan Lee, I got for a pretty good deal. I got him for just a little over three hundred dollars. Uh, that was a while back though. And I think now he's like, you know, he's super expensive. Um, the original Stanley. Yeah. My original Stanley. Yeah. That's the only Stanley I have. I don't, I don't need any others. I just needed him. So yeah. there are deals out there though, guys, there are deals out there. Um, there's, there's people out there in groups, buy, sell trades, uh, forums. Just keep your nose to the ground, man, before making like crazy aftermarket purchases. Cause you will find a deal. They're out there. Uh, Collector Chris says the best is if you can find a top rated eBay seller near where you live can usually get good cash prices and do local pickup, big savings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely true as well. That is true. In fact, one of my, somebody else had that when I sold one of my, my, my pop culture shock, my mortal Kombat statues, third scale, one who purchased from me was out here where I lived. So instead of paying the crazy shipping costs, cause you know how it is Mario with statues and shipping. Oh yeah. So we just did local pickup and it was fine. So he saved on that and, you know, <clears> done that. I'm uh, trying to find... My solo mall, on the other hand, has been sitting in Hong Kong for three weeks. Ooh. Let's oh, wow. got his Han and Chewy pack from Sideshow when they sold out on it prior. Mm. So that, yeah, it does, it does happen sometimes. It does happen. Sideshow Bob Dylan says Sideshow Last Chance and Seconds were best additions to their website last year. Yeah. I remember um, this Battle Damage Robocop that I have. I think I got it for like a little over 200 shipped from Pop Culture. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so deals are out there, man. And um, the Shark Trooper, the Imperial Shark Trooper. I need that. I I picked it up for like, I think it was like 190 shipped. I think it was off of the same site. (laughs) So yeah, sometimes those deals are out there, man. And here's the thing. So I had to choose between the animated Boba Fett or the Imperial shock trooper at the time, because they were both on sale for basically both of them the same price. And I could only get one. I chose the Imperial uh, shock trooper. And by the time I wanted to go back to go get the animated Boba Fett, that's when the Mandalorian dropped. All those things were gone and prices just went through the roof, man. Man, I tell you, that animated FET, I swear to God, one day was like $300, and the next day it was $700, and it's it stayed crazy. there. And it stayed it's, there, and it's still mm-hmm. there. It's insane. Out of all freaking Boba Fett's, that particular one just had to shoot up in price, man. I mean, I personally think the Return of the Jedi version with Deluxe with the Sarlacc Pit has way more going on. Well, here's the thing. You know, Coming from a comic figure. book collector perspective, that animated Fed is technically the first appearance. 
Sure. So sure. by that logic, you know what I'm saying? That is the Boba Fett's first appearance, the animated version. So mm -hmm. that's where I think that value skyrocketed because now he's back. He's got a show. He's in Mando, blah, 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 blah. You always like in a comic book world, you're always looking for those key issues. You know, even if we yeah. har don't harken back too long and you take Deadpool, for example, that's New Mutants 98. That was Deadpool's first appearance. Even though it's the 90s and the 90s was massively over overproduced for comics, there's only a handful of comics from the 90s that hold value. But New Mutants 98 was one of them. Like I said, it's things like that. Mm -hmm. That's your first appearance. Before that, there was no Deadpool. So same with Boba Fett. The animated version before that, he didn't exist. I see why it shot up, but it's just crazy that it shot up like, like that much. You know what I mean? Yeah, you go from 300 insane. to seven, 800 overnight and it's staying there. Yeah, that's pretty wild, man. Yeah, yeah pop culture shocks. Sugo toys are hidden gems since pop gets their stock dead last. Many collectors have already gotten their copies elsewhere. So new yep. figures just sit on the shelves. Australian post is slow also, though. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah, Australian. Oh. I've gotten my figures basically in about, I think like about a week and a half or so from pop culture. So it's not that bad, but it is it is a little bit of a wait. It is a little bit. So overall, though, uh, final thoughts, I think, right? We're, we're about we're approaching 90 minutes here. Um, I, I'm sure we can keep going because this is just it's just fun to to reminisce and talk with the community about all these figures and whatnots but i mean overall thoughts what do you think mario on krennic for the retail price i thought it was an excellent value considering you're, you're getting two separate looks for this for this guy we got them both pulls up differently i got the director krennic you've got the um whatever rank he was with the poncho at the time right um he has a decent array of accessories um you got a bunch of hands you know like like i just mentioned different looks it's a great figure. They absolutely nailed the portrait, and um, the articulation is uh, is hindered somewhat, somewhat by the by the actual outfit. But I mean, other than that, it displays nicely. It's 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 a great looking figure, man, and um, I am happy to have it in the collection. So, if you had to give it a, a rating out of one out of ten, what would you what would you think? What would be a fair grade on him? I want to say a solid eight and a half for this guy um i honestly don't know what what else he can actually come with i think you know uh maybe uh maybe a second portrait with a younger with a younger head sculpt with the hat on instead of swapping out the hair i think that would have pushed it up to like a nine nine and a half for me because i can always appreciate See, that's what i was going to ask you i was going to ask you if there was one thing that they could have done differently you know what mm -hmm. what do you think yeah. they could have done but yeah, a, a younger good. portrait with that actual cap i think would have you know would have worked better um yeah yeah eight and a half man eight and a half all right eight and a half that's a good number that's a good number man i'm thinking for me yeah man it's just like we're one in the same yo because i would i almost want to say the same thing i'd say he's probably an it's somewhere between eight and nine yeah so probably an eight and a half i i feel like um i'm not I'm not too worried about the fact that they didn't give us a different sculpt uh, that would agree. I agree with you though. That would just be a nice addition to the set. Um, mm -hmm. I do think the sculpt is, is still phenomenal. I mean, we were looking at it even on Aries, show, shows comparing him and Tarkin to the new Boba Fett. And I think that new Fett is probably a better looking sculpt, but it's a lot newer in that respect. But I think, I think this sculpt still is going to stand through the test of time. I don't feel this is going to be, you know, like some of the older hot toys where you can see that they're starting to show their age. I still think Krennic's yeah. going to, going to be good for a long time. He, you know, he looks, he looks great having the, you know, the, the Cape plus the poncho, like you said, the two different ranks, uh, the, the boots kind of suck. I'm not going to lie. That's why he's not, you know what I'm saying? He's not quite there, you know, and bias aside from rogue one, I'm trying to like, look at it as a figure, like judging it, you know, just as, as a hot toy. Um, I mean, overall, he's still awesome, dude. And I feel like if you are a, a, a collector or especially a fan of Rogue One, you you can't, you know what I mean? You got to have Krennic. Yeah, you, ha you have to. <laughs> so, and it's another it's another Imperial officer too. We don't yes. we don't have that many, you know, in the uh, in the set. So no, I mean we have that's, Tarkin. That's always nice. We have Tarkin, and that's it. And he um, he displays nicely with Tarkin as well. He does. You know, he does. So I was thinking about pulling him out, but. Mm -hmm. another day perhaps yeah 
Well, yeah. I mean, whether you pair him up with Death Troopers, whether you pair him up with Tarkin, whether you pair him up with Vader. Yes, you, know, you can definitely he, do that. He, he displays very, very well with these other figures. And and yes, single songwriter. It was Krennic that was being choked by Vader in Rogue One. Uh, I remember <laughs> Vader had to have his little pun in there and said, don't choke on your aspirations. Oh my gosh, why did they have to put that line <laughs> what, in there? What'd you think about that one? Did you like that or you thought that was pretty bad? Is that like a, 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 that a kind bad, of a, a, a man. bad that line? Was a, that was a completely unnecessary pun, man. I mean, you know, Vader getting his kicks. You know, yeah, Vader got his laugh. kicks. Is it? Do you think they did that to kind of give him a little bit of that Anakin smartass attitude mm, that he maybe. had in the prequels? Yeah, I never, I never thought about that. Because um, that's the Anakin only reason accept- I kind of accepted it. Sure, I just, I just accepted it because it was freaking Disney. They're just doing stupid shit, <laughs> you know. But I mean, yeah, yo, we got, we got to see Vader again and again. Uh, voiced by james earl jones on top of it granted he's a little bit older you can hear it in the voice but still man yes but still I'm so happy to see vader i was i was pretty pretty damn happy as well um yeah soul nightmare says it's been great listening to the stream while i'm uh riddle hunting in arkham knight dude <laughs> in arkham knight i did not i didn't get all the riddles in arkham knight i didn't i did an arkham asylum in arkham city but dude yeah, that was way too much padding for me, bro. I didn't, I didn't do yeah. it, <laughs> dude. That was freaking. That was a thing, man. Trying to get all those riddles in Arkham Asylum. Yes, you know, yeah, that was a bit of a struggle. I love those games, man. Fun, yeah, I love those games, yeah, and fun. I wish I would have started the line, but I don't have any DC figures, so I just. Yeah, I didn't get the Arkham line, man. So, but yeah, I think, uh, I think Krennic's great. I don't know what you guys think in the in the in the chat. Let us know. If this is somebody that you is a must have or did you miss out and you wish you grabbed him? I mean, Rogue One, man, it, it's so nice to be able to complete a line. And I think the caliber of quality figures that Rogue One has, I, I almost want to say it's the best Star Wars or even, dare I say, Hot Toys in general. It's the best line that they've ever made. Is I wouldn't that going be too far? I wouldn't be mad at you for that, but in my opinion, A New Hope holds them near and dear. You know, it's near and dear to my heart. To I'm looking honest. over. I'm looking at all my New Hope figures right now, dude. And, um, yeah, but the Rogue One line is is incredibly solid. Yeah, Mandalorian it, Mandalorian line is getting out there too, man. Yeah, they got some. They got some banger releases out of that one. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we've got a lot of Mando releases over on this side of the room. Um, <laughs> maybe 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 us. Maybe I feel that way with Rogue One because it's it's time has passed and yeah there's a finite number there right whereas the New Hope there kind of is too but the New Hope line is not that big and I wouldn't say that that Rogue One is necessarily huge either but it seems like every release that came from Rogue One are just amazing figures, right? Just, I think it's safe to say that like every figure has just Mm -hmm. got like, you don't, I don't feel, I don't, I don't ever, I never felt disappointed picking up a Rogue One figure. Yeah, there was a lot of, there was a lot of TLC that was given to these figures, man, and it really translates in hand. You know, you can really see all the love that was really uh, put into these figures. And yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's, 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 there's something about it. And like you were saying earlier, I mean, they're still going. Mm-hmm. I'll be at their troopers, but we're still getting some Rogue One stuff. I'll take it, man. I'll take all the troopers you can give me, bro. <laughs> yes. Uh, that would be opposed to try. Krennic holding his throat with Vader standing there near him, force choking hand. If mm-hmm. I had a Vader, dude, well, if I had the Rogue One Vader, I would totally do it. I would totally do it. OG fan with Star Wars, just Star Wars. What's up, bud? <laughs> Says, don't choke on your aspirations, Director Krennic. Yes, I'm yeah. telling you. Rogue One's one of my favorite movies, Jason. Dude, I think I think it I think we all agree. I think we're all in agreement on that one. Yes, sir. Uh Lane Kramer says, You guys are killing me with all these figures. You can send one to me, guys. You, Lane, you have a Krennic, and you got a good deal on it. So be fortunate you've got Krennic, <laughs> right? Because that was a killer deal for you. I missed out on Count Dooku. Heck, I missed out on Christopher Lee's hot toy figure. I know. And that Dooku's so great. They nailed that one, man. They did an amazing job. Although the I, I think the outfit is really minimal. Um, that figure itself with all the accessories are really minimal, but it has 
they nail like the uh, the elderly with the head sculpt. You know, all the details of the captures, and it's phenomenal. Hmm. It says Anno Toys has Rogue One shirt and gin on sale, regular and deluxe today only. Never ordered from them, but I've been told they're yes, legit. They they are legit. I've ordered from Anno Toys. I think Bob Dylan mentioned it earlier as well. Oh, if on deals- sale for the regular and deluxe, bro. Don't sleep if if you're considering it, don't sleep on it. Yeah, I was gonna say if if the sale is good, if you feel that mm-hmm. that's a good deal, yeah, I agree with Mario. Don't sleep on that. So Anyway, guys, I think we're going to wrap. Um, so what do we got going for now? Here's now. Actually, we should probably talk about that before we leave next week. We were actually going to detour. We're going to deviate right from from Star Wars for next week's episode. But mm-hmm. are we doing it Saturday or are we doing it Sunday? I think I'll be good for Saturday. You think we'll be good for Saturday? I think so. Yeah. OK, yeah, next weekend. Next weekend should be all right. So with that, our next episode, same bat time, same bat channel. And we're going to have a special guest on with us uh, where we Mm. are going to be reviewing, as you may have guessed, the 1966 (laughs) Adam West and Bill Ward, right? Batman and Robin. Burt Ward, yep. Yes. Burt Ward. I said Bill Ward because I'm thinking of how dare you I'm sir thinking of, i'm thinking of, you know i was thinking of <laughs> sabbath too anyway you know what i'm saying we got batman and robin special guests gonna be brother cousins toys reviews now i do not have the batman and robin but brother cousins and mario's do so we're gonna be doing a review on that we're just gonna talk and hang out with the chat so that's just gonna be kind of a i don't even want to call it like a mid-season right because we still have a little bit more but it's a kind of a special special yeah. episode for next week yeah um after that, I think our next Rogue One is going to be. In fact, I have them right here and not in a pose at all, but just a sneak peek. We've got Shirt. Shirt M Way. So, Shirt M Way. And we both actually have the deluxe version, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So, looking forward to that one. That will be two weeks from now. Um, so, that'll be pretty fun. And then I think. We'll see what we'll see what we do after that. But I know a lot of people wanted to see uh, uh, Chirrut, so then we're going to be doing Chirrut for that one, and I can't wait for that. So, with that, just a little chat. Let's take a look real quick. Soul Nightmare says, "I think Vader choked out uh, Nita Lust for losing the Falcon, and more for shooting down Grievous's ship while he was still on Revenge of the Sith." In mm-hmm. Revenge of the Sith, is that it? Yeah, yeah. I dude, I spent a while, man, since I've seen that as well. I'm not sure. Uh, gin is like a thousand of Filipino currents more than Tuscan Raider. She's expensive. Um, it's like two sixty US. Interesting. Dude, for gin? Is that, is that is that gin right now? Like, either, if it's if regular or either, either way, that's two sixty. Grab that shit. Yeah, or or if that's the imperial version you want, dude, don't hesitate. Get on that. That's that's the best yeah, deal you're gonna get. Any any gin that's two sixty. Is worth grabbing. Wow. Period. Lane says he's looking at it. Well, I'm not sure. On Anno Toys, okay. It's the deluxe for 260. Wow. If nobody in chat's gonna grab that, I-, I may. I'm just saying. I don't have deluxe gin, so better take a keep shot. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Chat, you guys want that? You better get on it because I might grab that, man. Because uh, I just have, I've got regular gins for that, not the deluxe. So we'll see. Holy shit. I'm looking right at it. It's, you're, you're looking at it right yeah. now? Mm-hmm. What's the shipping, though? Shipping from the Philippines, bro. So yeah, so. It's going to be taking some time. I don't know. Okay. Well. But it is here. All right, guys, if you want a gin or so deluxe for 260 US dollars at Anno Toys from the Philippines on sale today, you may not have to do crazy shipping though, either. I don't know. You're going to, you guys are going to have to check. So, anyway, with that, what else is going on with you, Mario? I know, uh, you know, you've got your collecting weekly and we do our stuff here, but anything current, recent, what's going on? Um, we are going over the book of Boba Fett over with, uh, 
La Yella myself on um, Uncivilized Scoundrels. We're doing that every Thursday night. Um, also with Cash the Gemini. You guys go check out my boy Cash. He's a statue collector, man, but he yes. hangs out with, yes. with the six color collectors, man. Um, he's a, he's a fan of Anthony as well. Just check him out, Cash the Gemini. Um, we're also going through the book of Boba Fett. And um, doing some random streams. He's actually going through the actual Star Star Wars saga himself because he's never seen it. He's starting right. with the book of Boba Fett. He just saw Rogue One, and he said he, he said he loved it. So the next one for him was A New Hope. So I'm really excited for my boy to be really uh, to jumping on a Star Wars train right now, man. And uh, that's that's really exciting. Hell yeah! The Night Anthony is the big show, the show of all shows that's been getting all kinds of. Positive feedback. Fans are raving. The, the community seems to love it. Got polls worse tonight at um, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. Come check us out on Collecting Weekly, man. It's going to be a good one. Anthony's going to be on there. Lael's going to be on there. We've got Iron Logan posing tonight. My boy Danny Lee. Um, S. Bean from the chat is going to be on there. Jose Corvo from the chat is going to be on there. It's going to be hella fun. I am super fun. excited to see what everybody's going to be coming up with because you know, uh, you cannot underestimate whoever's posing, man. Like I did, I was completely blown away by everyone with all the results. It was everyone so last that last episode. And shout out to Dan and Dre too, right? Six scale yeah, reviews. Exactly. Yep. They came Those with it, man. Brought, they, they came with their A game. Yep. People are bringing the heat, man. And um, don't underestimate everybody, bro. But yeah, man. Also, we're also coming up on 200 episodes of Collecting Weekly, bro. So next week on Tuesday, we've got 199. And then after that, we've got the big 200. We're looking at some guests, you know, that we can bring on. And yeah, dude, it's just a good time on CW. Last night we did a <laughs> last night we did an impromptu after dark. It was like pretty much the way the after dark used to be going on. Completely random. Extremely late. We stayed up to like uh what? One o'clock in the morning over here on the West Coast. I seen it. <laughs> Doing that and I said it. I was like, you're going to sleep in and miss our, our review. <laughs> Yo, yeah. So <laughs> us being late, that was completely my fault today, being a little bit late. No, but, no know, worries, man. It's, uh, yeah, but that was, that was a fun time last night, man, on After Dark. But, but yeah, man, if you guys, uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, I know most of everybody here has. Come check us out on Collecting Weekly. Absolutely. Again, link is in the description as well as the video. And our good friend Bob Dylan, who's doing an amazing job of moderating, as always, is putting Absolutely. links in the chat as well. If you guys haven't already gone over to Collecting Weekly, come check it out. Again, like like Mike Mario was saying tonight, the pose wars I'm gonna be on. And you wanted to know what I was gonna use. Well, Ooh. I already showed you one of them. So have you now? Okay. All right. Yeah, that's uh that's why uh that's why he was out. Um, and of course, uh, a little hint. Well, it's not really a hint. I guess I'm actually just going to show you. But a little hint is I've got Ooh. some other tools in my arsenal tonight. I have to, as you know, of course, represent X06. So mm. we'll be having some fun, I think, with that tonight as well over there. <laughs> Win, or lose. It, Win or lose is all good, man. It's all fun. But I got a rep. I got a yeah. rep. I got a rep X06, right? Oh, yeah, so dude. That's going to be some fun. Uh, what do we got going on also? I mean, yeah, as you guys probably know by now, 1,000 subscribers coming up pretty soon. Really excited yes, for that. So we've got that IG11 giveaway happening um, Monday. Monday, we're going to have a pretty big stream, right? I think I think Monday is actually going to be uh, – it's going to be pretty crazy. I think we got, I think we got like nine. It's a nine-man It's a nine -man panel on, on Monday. We're going to have some fun. It's going to be some chaos, but we have some good <laughs> topics to talk about. Uh, just to throw you guys in for who was watching right now, um, we're going to be talking about, for the whole panel, what is the most, in your opinion or collection, of underrated figure and overrated figure? Nice. So I'd like to hear the perspectives on on uh, veteran collectors and and newer collectors alike on what they feel. You know that is what they feel that you know maybe had just kind of fallen under the radar. Some people didn't really care about, and they just absolutely think this was such an underrated figure that you know it's an amazing figure. Or you know subsequently, what is what are you tired of hearing about? What is just so overrated that you got and you're just like, <laughs> what's all the hype? Where is the hype at? You know what I mean? So yeah. that'll be kind of fun. Uh, anyway, with that said, uh, I want to thank everybody today who came in the chat, all the usual suspects, and 
of course, all the newcomers as well. And Bob Dylan, of course, for being a great moderator as well. Uh, with that, I guess, yeah. So next week, Brother Cousins, Batman and Robin 66. Looking forward to that. And tonight, of course, on Collecting Weekly, we're going to be doing uh, Clothes Wars. So awesome, guys. Next week, we'll see you then. If not, be sure to check out Collecting Weekly tonight. All right, Mario, you're gonna are you gonna be there or are you just kind of tuning in by the way? I'll be tuning in. Um, if someone is not able to make it, I will be pulled out the bench and I gotta figure out which figures I pose. So <laughs> stay tuned, y'all. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, with that said, guys, I guess we are out. Yeah, Mario. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll see you guys in the next one. <clears throat>